Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions. My name is David and in today's unity tutorial We're gonna be looking at interactable objects Interactable objects meaning objects you can walk up to press your interact button and it gives a little bit of a description as to what they are This can be for literally the littlest things in your game Like your character walks up to a plate at a dinner table and he presses E on it or whatever your interact button is And it just says it's a plate this can be used as hints in your game or just to lifen it up a little bit as always, my friends, scripts, models, sound effects are all linked in the description on a Google Drive for a free download. And if you guys find this tutorial useful or helpful in any sort of way, please remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell so you don't miss an upload by me. And without further ado, let me show you the finished product and then we'll dive into how I accomplish this. Once again, we arrive in our Unity test scene. And if I actually walk through this door right here, we notice that there's a couple new objects here. There's a box a can, a cup, and a plate. Now, by just looking at them, nothing happens, but if you press interact on them, which in my case is E, it says a random box. I look away, and it comes back, and I can do that as many times as I want, and I can do that for any object around my scene. As you can see here, that's just a cup, and it looks like a plate, while over here, we have a can of food, and it looks full. This is super easy to accomplish, so let me show you how I did it. We're going to go over the quick and easy script real quick. Once again, you can find the script in the description down below, as well as those little test models that I was using, if you are interested. So we have three things we can play around with. We have a public text object, which is our text that's going to be displaying stuff on the screen. We have a public string for the description, which this is what we're going to input into Unity, so it tells us what to say when we press E or our interact button on the objects. And then just a little bool to tell if we're in reach. If you guys don't care about this bool, you can change the public to private so you don't see it in the inspector. So in our start function, that text object, we need to grab its text element and make sure it is set to false. While on on trigger enter, if we're looking at the object, our in reach becomes true and the text object component becomes true as well. On our on trigger exit, in reach becomes false. This is if we look away from the object because we are no longer in reach. We turn off that text and then we just set it back to saying nothing. That's why we have nothing in these quotes right here. While on the void update, if we're in reach, so we're looking at the object right here, if we're in reach of it and then we press down our interact button, whatever that might be, the text object will then say what we have to the description, which will be written in the inspector right here. For my example, I've taken the script off this box so we can go over it real quick. What you have to do first is make sure you have inside your player, you have some sort of text element attached to him and that's where the description is going to be. So in my case, I have all these different text objects right here. And it just goes right underneath my crosshair. You can see that right here. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've renamed one of these texts to item description. And then inside this input function right here is where the text is going to go right underneath the HUD like that. We're going to make sure that this is all deleted, that the text object just says nothing. We want to keep the item description on at all times. And then we can focus on that box or whatever object you want a description of. So let's click the box and add the look at object script to it. You're going to have to input that text object. So opening up the player again, we can go back in to our HUD, which is where I have all my text stored. And then we want item description right here in text object. We can close up the player once again. And now you'll see description and you can literally write anything in here that you want. Now, if we play the game, we walk through this door like we did before. And then we walk over to the box and press our interact button which in my case is E. It says, remember to like and subscribe, which you guys should remember to do. This box is very wise. If we look away from it, the text disappears. If we look at it again, nothing happens because we have not pressed E to interact. Very nice. I'm sorry for the short tutorial, you guys, but I hope you guys can play around with this and make it accustomed to your games. It'll surely help lifen it up and everyone enjoys those little things in games that just add detail and character to them. This can be added to pretty much any single object in your scene. Just remember to have a box collider or some sort of collider on them that the inReach tool can interact with. As always, my friends, you can find these models linked in the description down below. In that folder, you get the box, a can, a cup, plate, a wood full, and a wood broken. Let me go over that in just a second. You'll also get a folder with all the materials that I just used here. What the two objects are for wood full and wood broken, as you can see over here, I have set up this little box right here in front of this door and if you followed my full weapon system you'll be able to implement this into your game as well just thought it'd be a nice little component to add to the 
little assets I'm leaving for a download. If you guys have not seen the full weapon system, I advise you to go watch that because I go over exactly how to set this up. Pretty much what we went over in that tutorial is if you kill an object, you can replace it with something new. So in my case, I can't walk through this door because there's a board in the way. So what you can actually do is shoot it and it breaks, allowing you to go through that door. And all it's doing is toggling on and off the wood full object. And then in here I have change object to be that broken wood so it just breaks. So there you go guys, you get two things in one video, congratulations. And with all that being said guys, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, click the notification bell, and if you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comment section, or if you just want to say hi, say hello. With all that being said guys, this is user one production signing off for now, I'll catch you in another video, I'll see you later, peace.